All right, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to day two of the D3Hoops.com Classic. Game one of day two now in the books. That game pertaining to what we're going to talk about right now as Occidental just picking up its first victory of the season, 50-42 to 42, over Whitworth down here at the South Point Resort Casino Arena in Las Vegas right now. Thank you so much for giving us your time. I'm joined by Occidental's head coach, Anahit Alajanian, leading Occidental. Big day today, your first victory of the season. <laughs> Congratulations to you. Um, you had a game yesterday, of course, against University of Wisconsin, Stevens Point, a very strong team in its own right. You guys hung tough with them all the way towards the end before Stevens Point pulled away. So overall, pretty good weekend. What do you make of it for your team? Sure, yeah. We're just trying to, you know, play start to finish. You know, we've played good basketball in spurts, and, and for us, being a young team, it's just um, being able to play consistently. So consistency is our, our, you know, big focus right now. You had some interesting points in this weekend. First yesterday against University of Wisconsin, Stevens Point. You wanted to go with the speed game and seemed to throw things out of whack offensively for Wisconsin Stevens Point with your matchup zone at times. And it seemed like your guards, specifically Tiffany Coe and the rest of the game, were extremely successful in getting the ball in the open floor. Right. right. Yeah. I mean, you know, we're a small team. We're pretty much a team of all guards, so um, we, you know, have to play to our strengths. We like to run when we can, especially against bigger. You know, when we're playing bigger teams that play bigger players we're going to run you know to, to have a chance to to win the game so or be in the game and hopefully win the game so yesterday presented one of the most fascinating matchups not only in this particular tournament but in the year as a whole you're obviously one of the youngest coaches at the d3 level you're taking on the long well-known legend and shirley egner you're in your number two coaching at occidental meanwhile shirley egner enters your number 26 <laughs> what was that matchup like in terms of experience for you and taking on the well-known legend and Shirley Egner. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, it's it's just awesome uh, having the opportunity, first of all. And, uh, you know, we respect all of our opponents. We don't fear any of them. You know, we just go in, do our best, and it is just, like I said, it's just awesome to, to be able to play them and, and play a good game. So, uh, it's a great experience. There's a lot on the line this morning, at least looking at the initial lineup versus Wentworth. Wentworth coming off a loss yesterday, and you guys on the cusp of your first victory. And you're just trying to get that first game underneath the belt, off the slate. What do you tell a team going into a game like this with so much on the line? Yeah, you know, we, we really, really try to focus inward and focus on ourselves and, and try to play, um, you know, the, the style that we play. I mean, being, again, being young, being small, but being pretty fast, I'd like to say. Um, you know, we're going to play our game. So, um, yeah, for sure. Definitely focusing on us and, and trying to play consistently. Um, you know, what we said was let's try to play start to finish. Um, I thought we did a decent job, uh, poor shooting percentage, but yeah, I think, you know, just getting that first win was big for us. So. Pretty successful weekend overall for you guys. You made some strides. What did you notice this weekend that you may not have noticed particularly prior to this weekend that gives you confidence heading into the heart of the Skyx schedule? Yeah, you know, with, with added experience, I, you know, we have nine freshmen, seven that play. Um, you know, I think just experience is so crucial for, for those that play and, and, you know, pretty much all of them play. So I thought a couple of them really stepped up and I feel more confident in our depth um, and, and which is really key in our style of play playing eight to ten players um, so yeah just kind of you know we're, we're a resilient bunch and it's nice to be able to rely on the next person you know down the line so your individual story is a pretty interesting one and while it's unique there's a lot of unique aspects that measure uh, that kind of mirror a lot of people's diverse and unique to themselves experiences within the field of division three now you played at Occidental back in the day but really not that long ago and then you came into Occidental this is just your second year what's that experience it's been like and coaching at Occidental a place where you feel such a personal connection to in the first place yeah I mean you know I I, I love my job I love where I work I love the people I work with I love my kids um, it's it's special to me because you know I'm a tiger <laughs> so um, it's you know it's it means something to me and you know I it, this is my dream job and and you know I, I um, treat it that way and so it's definitely Special, you know, I never left Oxy. I wanted to be there um, because it's it's a very special place. So, yeah, for sure. I, you know, I stayed on. I, uh, you know, was an assistant for five years. Was interim head coach for one, and and this is my third year overall. My second officially, and it's just it's 
just awesome to, to get you know get the program going and hopefully get it back up to um, you know where I took took over you know so um, yeah it means something to me it means a lot <laughs> now whether it be in terms of the recruiting field or you're imparting some kind of lesson pre-game during the game in the middle of the timeout to your current players uh, when you're saying play for Occidental what makes it so special specifically what's that message that you would reiterate to people out there yeah for sure I mean I, I yeah, like I said I went you, went to Oxy uh, I think Oxy is a very special place uh, I mean you know, it's one of the best schools, one of the best liberal arts colleges. It's in Los Angeles. Uh, I don't think it's a, it's a very tough place to set and how far up. is it away from the beach, by the way? About 25 minutes. Okay, that's close. not a bad drive. Yeah, for sure. And so, you know, I think anyone who goes to Oxy, plays at Oxy, you know, that's a privilege. So, um, and, and I, I want to make sure that my players know that they are very fortunate, and, and they do know. And so, um, yeah, for sure. That, you know, that's just kind of the message we want to relay, and not just Oxy. If, you're, if you have a college jersey on, it's pretty, it's pretty special. It's pretty special. All right. Well, thanks a lot for your time, Coach. Thanks. Again, congratulations on your first win of the season, and good luck uh, the rest of the way as you enter Skyac play. Thanks so much. Thanks All so right. Much. I'm Justin Sweeney again, joined by Occidental head coach Anahit Alajanian, and continue to enjoy the coverage this afternoon and the rest of the way for the D3Hoops.com Classic from Las Vegas.